My name is Robin Hackett. I am the Beginning Farming Program Coordinator at OFA. OFA is the Ohio Ecological Food and Farming Association. We provide educational programming to beginning farmers and non-beginning farmers, generally supporting farmers in whatever way we can. And I'm here today at Hawking College because Hawking College and the Agroecology Program here are partners in our new Produce Farm Manager Apprenticeship Program. So apprentices can apply through OFA, and once they enroll in the program, or apply to the program, I should say, if they get selected by a host farm in the Hawking area, they can take classes here at Hawking College through the Agroecology program. So the ambition of the Produce Farm Manager program is to create a job training program for beginning farmers that kind of mirrors existing professional apprenticeship programs in other professions. There's a whole bunch of requirements to the program, the first of which is apprentices need to work on a farm for 2,500 hours over the course of essentially two growing seasons, around 16 months. They also need to complete 144 hours of related instruction in a classroom, and one of the ways they can do that is by taking in-person classes here uh, through the agroecology program at Hawking College. I'm Patrick O'Connell. I'm the assistant agriculture and farm manager here at Hawking College. I teach two different classes. One is agroforestry and the other is integrated pest management, uh, otherwise known as IPM. So my primary focus with this partnership is teaching the IPM class. It's there to prepare apprentices and students uh, with general knowledge of pests, pest predators, beneficial insects, along with different techniques for how to manage those insects and identify them. We also go over some state regulatory education dealing with being a trained service person for the Ohio Department of Agriculture Pesticide Applicator Program. Even with organic practices, you sometimes do end up spraying even organic pesticides, which are much less harmful and much better for the applicator and the environment. I hope for apprentices to leave the program with better knowledge of the ecosystems around them and be able to handle any problem that comes their way as far as uh, pests may be concerned in an ecological manner and we'll be able to make happier, healthier farms throughout Ohio and the mid-Ohio region. Agriculture, as most people know, is very diverse. There are hundreds if not thousands of crops and directions people go with agriculture. Uh, but I believe that as long as students leave with a firm understanding of how soil functions, they can take that in any direction they wish uh, in terms of to produce crops or livestock in a more ecologically friendly and a more ideally economically profitable way. We do a lot of hands-on work. I would say my classes are typically four hours long. Anywhere between two and three hours of that class is involved actually out here doing work with the crops and doing the tasks that we're talking about in class. And that, I feel like, is what separates Hawking from a lot of other places is the hands-on learning is really the priority. And we underpin that with some lecture and some background about why we're doing what we're doing, but the hands-on learning is where it's at. And that's really what's going to prepare you for uh, whatever you go on to next. For the beginner that comes in absolutely knowing nothing, I can pretty much guarantee that that student's going to come out with a very basic understanding to launch whatever step is next for them in terms of their learning path to move them towards working with farming in some way. But even for those students that have done farm work before, uh, we can definitely offer lots of information if whatever experience you've had to improve what you've already learned and done. I guess speaking from my own experience, at some point I wanted to know why I was doing what I was doing, the different tasks that I was working on the farm on a regular basis, whether it was soil preparation or a certain method of transplanting or fertilizing, like why am I doing it this way? And so this program will definitely offer you all the information as to why we're doing what we're doing and how to do what we're doing. Ohio has the sixth largest number of beginning farmers of any state in the country, and we're hoping that programs like this help them take the next step in professionalizing their careers and moving on to um, one day manage or operate their own small farm business.